In this video, we will cover adding a heat weld rod to our product database. Some add-on items, such as heat weld rod, rely on the associated flooring products for their estimating data. For example, heat weld rod is relying on our seam length and location of our sheet vinyl. Such an association must be set up first before these add-ons can be calculated. To create a heat welding rod, it is similar to creating any other linear product. Open the Product and Services database, double-click on the Installation folder to expand, double-click on the Welding Rod folder, then click on New SKU Style button to pop out a new item window. Select Item Type, here we will choose Heat Rod, and then enter your name or style code. Select Add-on as the layout type. Choose Linear Footage as the unit name. You can enter the width by keyboard or select a width from the pull-down list. Then set up your waste ratio. Since our heat welding rod goes wherever the seams go, we should change the add-on method option from by room perimeter to by seam length. Associating a heat weld rod with a product. In floor estimating, installing major covering materials requires add-on items as well as a labor cost to get the job done. Measure Square allows you to associate the add-on item with your major covering material. Let's try associating the heat weld rod with our sheet vinyl. First, open the vinyl product that you want to associate the heat weld rod with. Then, under Product Add-ons section, click on the Add button. Once in the pop-up window, navigate to find the heat weld rod you'd like, select it, and click OK. You will see the heat weld rod is listed below the product add-on tables. In this way, wherever our sheet vinyl goes, the heat rod gets applied to our seams.